Welcome back. So the other day I had a Nintendo Switch OLED that somebody had sent in. It was a failed installation of a RP2040 and we fixed that and we left it where we had a FPC connector for the LCD that was broken and so we, got, we just got it. I figured just we'd make a video of how to install it. We ended up, I ended the video removing this FPC connect connector. However, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys the whole process because I do have another switch that somebody sent in with an attempted FPC connector replacement and that one was a fail too. So we're going to fix that. But let's put this one back together and test it real quick. For those of you that have subscribed to our channel, you guys can probably recall the last video is the one we actually made where we ended up uh, not replacing the FPC connector because we just didn't have it in stock. I didn't want to use a donor. They're kind of flimsy or finicky. So let's go ahead and replace this real quick. We ended up the video preparing the pads. And by the way, we have a, a recording device here that supposedly is, is supposed to be better. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can't tell. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll find out after the video. With no lag, we were having a little bit of trouble with our set up here and this should be better. So this is the FPC connector. This is a 43 pin for the Nintendo Switch OLED. And the customer that sent this in tried, in, tried, in, tried installing a, a chip. And I guess in the process we uh, the FPC connector got damaged. I'm not going to use any heat, guys. I'm just going to use the soldering iron. I know there's multiple ways of doing it. This is the way that I often find, I guess, more suitable. I don't like to apply too much heat to the device. Even though we can probably hit it from the bottom with some heat, we're going to simply use our soldering iron to to set it up. As you can see, I already set, uh, put it on top. There's a little bit of flux there, but I'm going to put a little more. So hopefully this is a short video real quick. So the As you can see, the FPC connector is in place. So what I like to do is, first of all, get it just right. Let me see if I can adjust the light maybe here. I think this is as good as it's going to get. We're going to zoom in on one of the points here so that we can solder it. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically aligning it and that looks good. So we're going to come with with our heat uh, solder iron and <clears throat> just touch the pins here real quick, just one or two. Maybe get a little bit of solder on our soldering tip. And we have this side right there soldered. So now we're going to go to the other side. Again, we're just trying to stabilize it and put it in place so that we can solder completely here in a second. 
Everything looks good. And that looks good. So now we're just going to solder the pins. If you guys pay close attention here, we're, we're going to be just running across our solder to, to touch the pins. Give me one second. All right, so we did this side. We're gonna come back and check it, but let's do the other side. Same process. Let's add a little bit of flux so that we can make the solder stick. And I'm just mirroring the flux to an even area here. All right, let's see. So we're just gonna do the same process, repeat, repeat the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and push down a little bit, just slightly. Carefully just touching the pins. You see that bridge there? Easy to take off if you just put a little more flux. Clean the tip of your soldering iron. And then the soldering iron guys will lift some of the solder out. So it's always carrying a little bit of solder. Everything looks good on this side. Let's test the pins on the other side. So let's just test them real quick. We're gonna start on the left side here. Just cleaning a little bit of solder, uh, flux. And I will clean this with alcohol here when we're done, but we're gonna test it first. So pins, this pin is not soldered. This one's not either. Let's just retouch them all. So we want to get a little bit of solder on the tip of the soldering iron. Let me see these. I always want to add some flux. And I don't want to add too much flux here because when you stick the, when you try to connect the ribbon cable, the flex cable for the LCD, then it'll make a mess. So here. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's a lot better. It should be good now. Let's test the pins again. All right, let's go ahead and go one, two, three. I'm also making sure there's no bridges. The connections are good. Let's test this side. And you can see that the um, you can see the shininess here, so that's pretty good. We so saw the, uh, the actual solder there. So it's pretty good, it looks good. See, without we, we soldered this FPC connector with no heat. If we apply heat, there is a 
the chip at the bottom. We don't want to apply heat there. So let's test it real quick. I'm going to bring the, the LCD and we can put it together and finish it up. Let's go ahead and check. First, let's clean it a little bit. Well, we'll clean it after. So I am connecting the the uh, speaker, and then we're going to connect the one of the controller rails. So finally, this customer is going to get his switch back. It's been uh, maybe two days. I don't like to hold things for more than maybe two days. So it's okay, it's not bad. Sometimes we have to wait a little longer, but waiting on parts is one of those things where we have no control of. So let's clean that area real quick with a little bit of alcohol. Flux won't hurt anything, guys. Flux is, uh, it will actually prevent from, prevent components from rusting in the future. So as long as there's not too much, there's no, there's nothing wrong. There's no problem. But you can see that the installation is pretty nice and clean. You see that? So let's make sure that everything works. It goes in this nicely. Very nice. On this switch, we had to, if you guys saw the previous video, we had, we had to fix the capacitor there. And uh, a few other things, I, I don't remember anymore, but we're going to boot it up and we're going to make sure that it's functional. There you go, you guys saw the, uh, put it back on a uh, motherboard on, on the microscope, it's in detail, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and power it up, we're going to turn it on, hit the power, the, uh, L the uh, LED on the chip went blue and then glitched right away, so look, you see the... Uh, logo there, so it's, it's functional. I'm going to try to bypass the chip by pressing volume up and volume down. Make sure that it goes all the way through and I'm going to go ahead and dim, the, dim down the lights. So it's a fully functional Nintendo Switch. We were able to save it. I'm sure the customer is going to be pretty happy. All right. So real quick, guys, I'm going to go ahead and, and do another one. But this one, we're just going to remove the, I'll put this back together later, clean it up a little bit. This time, we're just going to remove the FPC connector, and then I'll put it back again. Maybe I'll just do it real quick. Let's, let's do it. There's another, there's another one that somebody sent me. Uh, remember I said something about too much flux is bad? Well, look what happened here. This uh, customer sent us this one, and... I mean, it's pretty, pretty crazy, right? Look at that. So there's flux all over. I don't even know what type of flux this is, but we're going to have to do some serious cleaning on this one. 
and we're going to replace this FPC connector, connector real quick. And the way I remove it, removing it is going to be, we are going to use a little bit of heat. And we're going to do this right on top of the area here. I assume the lead, the solder here is leaded already, so it should be pretty simple. Not only that, the, the connector is messed up, so there's no point trying to save it or anything. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. All the... All the flux. So see how easy it came out? I'm going to prepare it and put the other LCD in place, but you know what I'm going to do first? The other FPC connector in place? I'm going to clean this first, and then I'll do it uh, off camera, because there's, uh, this was another attempted uh, chip installation. But the switch is working now, except for this. I noticed that there was something bad on there. So there, there's, there's been work here. If I remember correctly, we had to replace the main chip here and some other stuff, but we got it to work. See that? So we probably, we replaced the Pi USB as well. But anyways, the switch is working. I will do this off camera here and I'll install the chip the uh, the FPC connector. Thank you guys for watching. We sincerely pre appreciate the support and the you know the subscribers. Welcome to our channel. To, uh, welcome to the website. Where you can always uh, browse our website if you have anything that you might want to send us in. We are always happy taking orders in, and we always like working on this type of things. We love what we do. And it makes a big difference. So thank you guys very much. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and we'll see you guys soon.